Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to the Energy Matters News. According to the Herald Sun, one in six New South Wales homes could be hit by blackouts after decision by Fair Work Australia to allow workers to take action against Macquarie Generation, the state's largest electricity supplier. Even solar households could be affected by the blackouts. Systems have safety features whereby in case of a blackout, the system shuts down. This is designed to prevent the possibility of power feeding back into the grid and electrocuting those working on what would usually be a system fault. SMA has been selected as the sole supplier of solar inverters for Japan's largest solar power plant. As the heart of any solar power system, the inverter converts the DC power generated by the solar panels into AC electricity. Construction of the 70 megawatt project has already begun and is due to be completed by mid to late 2013. The City of Sydney has lodged a submission to the Australian Energy Regulator Review of Electricity Network Companies. With costly upgrades needed to network infrastructure, Lord Mayor Clover Moore said the smartest investment the city could make is in generating electricity close to where it's used. The city plans to boost the energy efficiency of its buildings and produce electricity locally with solar, wind and tri-generation technology. Residential mains electricity in Australia now costs up to 52 cents per kilowatt hour, among the highest costs for electricity in the world. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, between June 2007 and June 2012, retail electricity prices increased by 84% in Melbourne and 79% in Sydney. The lowest increases in capital cities were still huge, with Darwin's prices increasing by 42% and Canberra's by 45%. A highly efficient 4 kilowatt solar power system can provide 70 to 80 percent of an average household's electricity consumption. With quality solar components and savvy consumption habits, a system can generate clean electricity for just over 5 cents per kilowatt hour based on current solar prices. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.